Hi, it's Tanya here. Welcome back to Gray is Gorgeous. That's right, I changed the name. <laughs> All right, um, so let's have some fun today. I am getting ready once again, and we are going to demo um, some liner, uh, liner to shadow. This is the Wonder Swipe, Rimmel Wonder Swipe. And this works as a eyeliner and as a shadow. And we're going to demo it using it as a shadow, an eyeshadow. So, and I'm going to also show you how to use this if you don't want to wear eyeshadow or you don't wear eyeshadow, but you just want to add just a pop of color on your eyes. So let's get started. I do have two colors. This one is, let me see if I can find it since the package, um, Hmm, no, does it not say the color on here? Shocking. Did I, I think I got rid of the package already. Okay, so it's the green one. <laughs> um, so it's a really super pretty, like hunter green color. All right, and they have a great blue one and they have a purple one. And this one's kind of like, um, um, this one's like a blue with, yeah. Anyway, I'll show it to you on the back of my hand. Let's do that. So it has a, like a little brush, like an eyeliner. Um, so that's the color of that one. Real pretty green, really pretty. Now you don't have to get the same as your eye color um, if you don't want to. Like I could do blue too. This one is kind of like a gray color. I'm gonna show you that right here. Isn't that pretty? So this one, they both have kind of um, a sparkle to them and they seem to stay put pretty good. I was really happy with that. So um, no worries there. All right, so this will be a great option for those of you out there who don't do eyeshadow. All right, so I'm gonna put back my hair and I got these little clips here. I got a set of two, they give you one like this and then they give you another one that's just gold. They're real pretty. And I got these at the Dollar Tree. And they seem to have a really good alligator claw claw on there to, um, to hold your hair back a lot better than the duck bill. These are the duck bill and they, um, they slide off because there's no teeth in there, so. All right, let's get started. So I have my eyebrows on already, and as you know, it's the NYX, um, but if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, it is the NYX Pencil in Taupe is my fave at the moment. All right, and I also have my concealer on, which is the CoverGirl True Blend It's Lit Concealer in Ivory. All right. All prepped oh and then I prep then I on top of that um, concealer just on my lid and to tone down my brow I use the contour es essence contouring palette and I use this lighter shade here all right and I'll put everything down in the description box below um, so you won't skip a beat okay. all right here we go all right, so we're gonna take the green one and I'm gonna do one side, I'm just gonna do liner and then the other side I'll use it as a shadow so you can see the difference on that, all right? And this is like applying any liquid liner that you would normally apply and I find it pretty easy to do. So I didn't find too much difficulty doing it. So if you're not a pro, no worries. All right, so I'm going to try to move my, try to keep my eyelashes down. And I'm just going to put this on here. So on this side, we're just going to use it as a liner, just to add a little bit of color. A lot of times um, when people they decide to go gray and they go gray and then they decide they don't want to wear as much makeup either which is totally fine you know you have to do what you what you feel uh, makes you feel comfortable um but this just gives you just like a little bit of color and with 
outgoing, you know, with the whole eyeshadow look. So I really like it for that. And I feel like it goes on well, it dries down well. So that's what that looks like right there. And that color is so, so pretty. That green, I'll try to come in real close. Look at that, that color is so pretty. So that's what it looks like just as liner there. Come in close so you can see that. Um, and I really, really like it. It just makes my eyes pop a little bit. So if you have blue eyes, you can use the blue eyes or you can go the opposite color, which is totally fine. Um, blue eyes, uh, anybody with blue eyes can wear green and, and vice versa. Also, this green will look good with hazel eyes and it'll look great with brown eyes as well. Um, but I really like it. So, and I think, yeah, I'll put these down in the description box below. Every once in a while, Rimmel will have a sale and you can probably snag these up for like $5.99. I think they are about $8.99. Don't quote me on that. Depends on where you buy them. Um, I purchased mine at CVS and they do have sales every once in a while. So you do definitely want to watch for the sales. All right, so there we go. We got that on. So now on the other eye, we're going to use it as an eyeshadow. And so how you use it as an eyeshadow is you just go ahead and apply it all over the lid. Um, you just brush it on like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a full lid look with this color. And what I like to do is I like to hold the brush sideways instead of going like this, like you would when you're applying it like a liner. I hold it this way and kind of graze it on like, you know, so the, here, I'll demo that on my hand. So, so instead of doing the line this way, I use it this way. See that, how you brush it on like that? It fans it on and it gives you a nice even coverage so it's not too intense. And I'm just going to do my lid in this color. Now this color really reminds me of a mallard duck. You know the green on a mallard duck? That's what this color reminds me of. That gives you a really good uh, idea of what, what color this is. All right, so what I do is I put it on like that. So you can just put it on your lid too. See, if you do that, it kind of hides. And so it's a little bit of color, but it's not like wearing shadow all the way up to your brow. And then I let it dry for a minute. And then I take a brush and you can take any brush. Um, yeah, you can take any brush to this. I would go for a more shorter haired brush. So instead of using something like that, I would go for something like this. It's slightly shorter. It's going to apply a little bit more pressure. I have the camera resting on my Kleenex box. So. All right, so then I wait a few minutes and then I take it and then I rocker arm it. I just um, smooth it out a little bit. And I'm going to, much like you would do with powder shadow, I'm kind of blurring the edge here a little bit with that. And it won't move very much, okay? It'll, it's, it's a bit like a waterproof. See on the back of my hand? It's not going to move or migrate very much. It kind of turns to a little bit to a powder. So the lines are still there, as you can see. I mean, if you rub it hard enough, it will come off, but it does have a lasting effect. Um, for those of you that have problems with um, things that smear, maybe due to oily skin, or you know, when you have a hot flash and you start sweating and stuff. I mean, although you don't really sweat on your lids, but if you live in a humid climate, perhaps this is gonna stay on pretty good for you. All right, so that's what I do. See how I blurred that up? Take it up to the line. And then I go ahead and go with a, um, you can, now you can just leave it like that and you don't have to put any other color or you can just grab, here I'm gonna use this single shadow. This is the Wet n Wild Brulee. And this is a nice matte color for those of you who like mattes. And then I'm gonna take 
Where's my light? My lighting brush here it is. So I'm just going to go into that with this Real Techniques brush, and I'm just going to do just up under my um, brow there, just to finish that look a little bit. And I'm actually, I think I'm going to come in here and go in here too, just to break it up a little bit. And so that's a real simple two-step eyeshadow look that you can do there with this liner. There. And I'm just going to leave that like that. And then I'm going to take the same, same one and I'm going to go back and I'm going to line my eye with it, just like I did on the other side. So what you'll have when you're done is you'll have a liner on that's a little bit darker mallard green and um, then it kind of fades see that because I used a brush on it now you don't have to use a brush on it you can leave it full and rich color if you want so that's it so I'm going to come close so you can see what I did there so you can do that with it my chair scooted down all right, so that's the look there. All right, and then you just finish off your makeup. So what I'm going to do, and this side looks good too. I like it without as well. Um, both sides look good. So, all right. So let's finish the look. So you can decide which side looks best for you and then decide whether this will work out for you or not. Um, everybody has to try. I recommend that everybody try things that I suggest as well. Keep your receipt in case it doesn't work out. Um, and try to always get things as cheap as you can, you know, by waiting for sales and stuff. All right, so then we're going to, I'm just going to go in with my foundation. I'm currently just using my Pacifica powder in shade 2. And I'm using that powder puff. Remember that video I did with the powder puff? And I, and I tried to use it with the liquid. I didn't like it with the liquid at all, but I really, really love this with powder. It does something amazing on your skin that I just can't duplicate um, with a makeup brush or a sponge. So I love it with the powder. In fact, I was trying to think, because this was only $2.50, if I would go back and actually get another one. But I just do that. I put a little bit on and then just buff it on and it gives me like a real natural natural look now i have a lot of yellow in my skin okay so this color may not work for you at all the next color is a shade one and that's really light that's all the colors they have because this wasn't designed to be used as foundation necessarily but i i like it because it's talc free so it's very safe to use it's got natural ingredients in it and it's relatively inexpensive So that's what I do. I just swipe. Look at that. I just swipe it on. And it goes on pretty even. If I put too much on, it'll end up going into my fine lines and wrinkles, which I don't want. And I do have um, lotion under this. Um, I have my regular Olay lotion under this. Put a little bit on my neck. So that's all I do for foundation. And uh, that just kind of evens out my skin tone just a bit. It kind of fills in my um, big pores and it just does a very, very light, light application. All right, so that's that. Um, let's see. And then we're going to go with blush. Let's choose a blush for today. Hmm, green eyes. Green, green, green. We could go with peach. Or we, we could go with a more neutral. I think I'm going to go with the neutral color. I'm going to go with, I think I showed this one on another video, and I don't know which one it was or if you've seen that video yet. So it's this is 103 Natural Shimmer by CoverGirl Cheekers. I've noticed in the store that they've reduced the color choices of the cheekers, which makes me sad. Um, but they did keep this one. Uh, at least in one of the targets so I was like okay good they kept that color because that they must have kept just the top sellers which are natural twinkle and natural shimmer 
and um, what's this other one? Rose Silk. So they seem to keep all my favorites, which was like great, and the berry one. So I was like, okay, good. Maybe those are the top sellers then. All right. All right, I'm trying to look for a brush to go with this blush. Do this one. This is a Real Techniques brush, and I got this at um, Marshall's, I think, for $5.99. So this color is very natural looking. It's neither pink nor peach. It's kind of like a real, real light, dusty rose. It's like the Milani Romantic Rose. I'm curious if CoverGirl will change their um, packaging for their blushes. I would like them to. I think they should come out with a little bit better um, container. Um, because this is so small that a big brush like that, you see the size, it kind of overwhelms it. Um, I do like the size though for my purse, but um, yeah, I think that I think they'd be better if they'd come up with a round packaging. That's what I would do. I would do a circular packaging. I seem to like those better because you tend to circle your brush inside it. All right, so that's that color, very natural looking. And then we're going to finish it off with some um, CoverGirl Exhibitionist in black brown. Try not to aim my nostrils at you. <laughs> this mascara, after like the first couple weeks, it gets thicker. So if you like volume, this is a great mascara and it will age gracefully with you. <laughs> it will get thicker as you use it, which I like. Some people may not like. So if you don't like it, um, you want length, not volume, selecting another mascara is good. Lash Paradise gives you quite a bit of length. Wet n Wild also has one that comes in a purple container and I don't know if they still sell it and it has a really super small wand so it's very it's very agile you can like really get to like if you're if you feel like your eyelashes aren't long at all and they're kind of short and you don't like these big clonkin applicators you know that are so big that you know they get in your way. You want to go for a thinner applicator. Also, Maybelline makes one too. And I will put those down in my description box below, both of those selections. They have a very narrow wand and they're more designed for lengthening. Because I realize what I like may not be what you like. And I have, um, I have very long eyelashes. I was born with long eyelashes that people have asked me, are those fake? <laughs> So, um, but I realize that everybody has different lash, lash conditions, you know, and you need something that's going to truly work for you. So this may not work for everybody, but it's a great volume and lengthening um, mascara. So there we go, that's that. And I'm not gonna put any on the lowers as I normally don't do, um, because I want the attention to go up with it. I don't wanna pull down, but I do do that sometimes, occasionally, but not always. All right, so that's the look for today. And I don't know which side I like better of the eyes. You let me know. And again, it's preference. It's total, total preference when you get to that point. And this is the, um, this one's no longer available. I apologize. I keep using it because it's my absolute fave. But it is the Ulta lip crayon. Very creamy. Very, very creamy. Creamy, creamy creamy formula and they have new colors out right now so I highly recommend these. I did buy one of their newer ones, this red one here, and I really like it. What color is this? Hot chili or something? This is lava. This is a pretty color. This is what their new crayons look like. And you want to see how creamy that does? That goes on. Great color too. So I love their great their new ones. And they have one, I think that's called Terrain, and that is a lot like this one. It's kind of a peachy, pinky, nudie color. So if you are liking that, I would go with Try Terrain. 
And those are returnable too if they don't work out for you. And wait for the deals at Ulta where you buy one, get one half off, or buy two, get two free or something like that. That's the time to go in and clean up on those. All right, so that's our look there. Let me uh, adjust my bangs here. I'll come in close and you can see both eyes and see which look might work best for you. There's just with the liner and there's more as using it as an eyeshadow. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, click subscribe and we will catch you next time.